Hello everyone, it's Annie here with Stamp Anything. And today we are doing our You Are My Sunshine uh, die inlaid card kit um, that we have designed here for you guys for the expo. Um, our company normally is a coloring company, but I've had so many requests for card kits. So we went ahead and designed this one and I hope that you guys will like it. We did it as an inlay because as much as I love texture, I also think inlays are very, very cool as well. So this is the card we're going to be making today. So in your kit, you should have gotten the sunshine builder die. It's got the sun rays, his little face, the glasses, and the word sunshine. And then in your kit, you would have gotten um, a stamp set, the various papers, three little jelly dots, and you also have your card base and your card mat. So that is what your kit contents um, will uh, contain for you while we're making our card today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get all your papers ready and you want to take your die out of its packaging. And we're going to go ahead and just prep all of our pieces to run through our die cut machine. And so I have my sunray piece and that is going to go on the largest of the dark yellow paper that came in your kit. Then you have your little um, sun face that's going to go on your light yellow and then you're also going to cut just the cheeks and the mouth of the sun on your pale pink. The word sun is going to go on our hot pink paper and then our word sunshine is going to go on our teal paper. It matches the paper, you can barely see it and so are the sunglasses. Okay. So these are the bits we're going to cut. Um, I'm going to go off camera right now. I'm going to go ahead and run all of these through my die cut machine. So go ahead and prep your pieces like I just did and then run them through your die cut. We're going to come back and then we are also going to die cut our white mat. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, be right back. Okay, so now I am back and I have all of my pieces die cut out. I have my sun ray, my little face, the cheeks and the mouth, the word sun, the glasses, and the letters for sunshine. And I'm just going to literally just push that all off to the side of my workspace. Okay, so now that we have those die cut pieces out of the way, we are going to take the white piece that came in your kit and we are going to make the mat for the top of our slimline card. So I just have my little paper trimmer here and you want to cut it to be three and a half. Um, it's three and a half wide by eight inches tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a three and a half. And if you have um, a little extra sheet, Leave that aside because that we're going to run the glasses in to get the white um, for the glasses. If yours didn't have this big enough of a slither left over, don't worry about it because the sun rays that are going to be in the center, um, you can use it on that. Um, my uh, ruler here does not go to eight, so I'm just going to use my card to kind of get a guide as to where my eight will be and go ahead and get that line started for a cut. And now I have an eight and a half by 11 mat that will go on my card base. So once you have that cut out, you can go ahead and put your trimmer to the side and then you're gonna bring back your sun uh, your, your sun ray, and I need to put new fresh tape on because it's not sticky. Let's get that off. Okay. All right, you're going to take the sun ray die, the sun and the shine word die. You're going to use your masking tape, and you're basically just going to start 
layering down where you want the sun shine and the ray to be, but make sure you leave a gap between the ray and the sun because you have to stamp your sentiment there as well. And you just basically want to center the words in the um, base of your card as best as you can. I'm just tacking it down so it doesn't shift when I run it in my machine. Okay, and I'll just use one more piece up on the top here. Okay, and now you're gonna take this over to your die cutting machine, your um, Big Shot or whatever, your Sissix kick, whatever you might have. And you're just gonna run it through to get your mat cut out. My top layer has a crack in it, so I have to do mine in sections. Okay, I think this will do it here. Oop, come on, go through. And it's not. There we go. Is it going to grab this time? Jeez Louise. And it's not grabbing it because, of course, we're on camera. Okay, and I got this. And I just have to do the bottom part. The pressure on the uh, crack in my plate just uh, doesn't cut the die out. So I ordered a replacement plate, but of course it didn't come in on time for when I was doing this video. Come on, please, let's grab this. We'll flip it around then, this way. All right, there we go. All right, that shouldn't have taken so long if you all have really nice plates on your, and you can save um, the cutout letters for another project. They're really nice, chunky font, I love it. Okay, so basically now you have your mat, so just remove your dies ever so carefully. Okay, and now we have the top of our mat that's gonna go for our card. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your card base that came in your kit. Let me grab my card base. And we're going to glue this to the top of our card base. So you want to make sure your card's opening correctly. And we're just going to glue that in. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment in the inside and the top of our card. So I'm just going to grab some glue. And when I do um, this, because you have all these little pieces that are um, pointing out, I don't actually glue them on the other side. I do the big areas. And then when I flip it over, I go underneath them on the top side. And I'll show you what I mean when I do that. So I'm just gonna add my glue around my base here. And you do want to get in, you know, as close as you can. But I don't put the glue on these little narrow pieces because then the glue ends up oozing out the other side. And even though I use a clear glue that dries nice and clear, not everyone has the same glue. So if yours doesn't dry nice and clear, you're going to have your little globs of glue showing. So now because of the wet glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room to go ahead and line this up to the top of my card mat. 
like so. Okay. If you have a brayer, this would be a good time you can use that. Now you see how like my U is not, and these little uh, sun rays are not down either. Okay, this is what I do with those. I take a scrap piece of paper and I put some glue, glob of glue there. And then you just slide it under and then you're able to tack it down. And of course, I guess I didn't get enough glue on the part that mattered. Just hold it down for a few seconds just to get that down. And you just want to do the, that on these little pieces that are sticking up. Be careful because we are using white that if you get glue on your fingers and then press down on there, the skin from your, your uh, fingers are going to come up there. And then you'll have some nice little brown areas from your dead skin cells. There's your little science lesson for today. <laughs> you don't want that. So I'm just gonna continue and glue these little pieces down as best as I can. If you have tweezers, this would be a good time to use those to put those in place as well. Just lift this one up a little, get a little tack of glue. Some of them it's not, oh, crap. Some of them is not as obvious as others of, um, of a lift up. So you don't have to worry about them so much. Let me get, do I have a wipe handy? I think I got all the letters part. Now we'll just do some of these little rays, get those down. Just want to make sure that they're not going to catch later on. When, see, dead skin from my finger. <laughs> there you go. Nearly done. Just a few more here to go. I missed this one. All right, so that'll take care of our lettering there. So now what we're going to do is you're going to get your stamping block or your uh, little misties, whatever you may use. Because this is a slimline card for me, my little mini misty isn't gonna work. I need to use the larger one. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my card. Just get that down. And then take my sentiments. Um, you have the you are my to go on the front of your card. And then the my only sunshine, you make me happy every damn day can go on the inside of your card. So I'm just taking my um, sentiment. And I'm just lining it up. And then I'm going to. Close my misty and let me get my black ink out. And you don't have to stamp it in black. You can stamp it in a color that coordinates nicely with the papers that we'll be using. Um, you can do that if you'd wish. You don't have to just use black. So we're gonna 
Stamp that once, ink it up. And let's do one more time just to make it nice and black and crisp. Okay, that should do it. So there is the You Are My for the outside of the card. Whoop. And then we're gonna go ahead and open it up so we can do the inside sentiment of our card. It's a little tricky here because we're going to need to stamp block it this way because when I'm on this side, um, my door, oh, it's not going to catch. I thought it was going to catch. Okay, there we go. Thought it was going to catch in there. All right, so now we're just going to grab our other sentiments. And you don't have to use both of them. You could just do, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Or you can use the whole bit that says the whole sentiment, like so. Okay, let me close that, take this part off, put that back on my sheet. Lift up. So let's get that back in there. Let's switch some of these magnets to hold it a little bit better. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and ink up our sentiments. So now I have the inside and outside of my card stamped up. And now we get to have some fun, which is if you guys like making puzzles, this is kind of like doing a puzzle basically because you're doing what we call the inlay. So you're just going to take your letters that you cut out and you're going to pop them right where they need to be. You're gonna put down your glue and then plop up in. One thing to be um, careful of is the letter S. It looks like it's the same um, either way, but it's not. The lower tail comes out a little bit further than the top tail. So if you try to put it in, it won't fit. So you just wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that. And when you're putting down the glue, I like to put one layer down the center of the width of the lettering and then lightly kind of smear it out towards the edge because I want to make sure it's going to stay down good but I don't want a big glob on the edgy parts and then you literally just inlay it into the die cut and it goes flat and I just think it's a really cool effect when the card is done in this matter. And you're just going to repeat this with all of your letters. And then we'll build our sun in a moment. So now we're taking our U. And if you didn't like the colors that came in your kit, you can change out the paper with some nice bold colors that you might have. When I did my initial um, prototype for this, I used that summer, we have a pad of paper called Summer Tropics. It's got this really beautiful, um, vibrant sun colors. And I don't know if I have the sample still. I might, yeah, I do. So I used that and you see it had pattern paper in it and that um, you can do pattern papers as well. And that's a lot of fun. I would have included that in the kit, but we sold out of that paper pad because we used that in our last demo, which was the um, mini albums. It came in your kit for your mini albums and everyone loved the paper that we sold out of it pretty quickly. 
and I reordered it, but it didn't come in on time for when these kits were gonna be due. So that is why we have different paper here. And I'm not really concerned about some of my glue showing through because like I said, it does dry clear. And now I'm gonna grab my letters for my shine. And again, before I put down the glue for that S, I wanna make sure I have my S going in the right direction, which is this way. And now I'm gonna continue and put my glue. And these are smaller letters, so you don't gotta add as much. If you have one of those like sticker makers, you can run these cuts in there and then they'll be self-adhesive. We will be carrying double-sided self-adhesive self um, papers soon. Uh, not paper, self-adhesive double-sided stick for doing card kits and inlays and such like that. We've already put in the manufacturing order. We hope to have them within a month. Um, so then when we start building up our card kit line, it'll help make die cutting go that much easier as well. Okay, so there's the S and the H. Now we're gonna put on our I. And this card comes together once you have all the pieces prepped. I mean, this is a really, really quick put together type card. I think it's beautiful when it's done with the colors and I think the technique with it being an inlay is different than normally I like texture. I love like lots of layers on my cards and this is still layers on your cards. They just happen to all be flattened together and it's just a really cool looking um, technique I think when it's all done. I hope you agree since you are doing the kit. <laughs> Let's see, so now here is our E. Okay. And now before we get to our sun, the sun is like the letter S. It might look like it's, um, you know, all the same, but it's not. So you kind of have to go around to find the one that fits. Oh, and I found it. That was easy for me. Okay, so you might just have to keep turning yours a few times until you find the one that cuts um, the correct way for you. So I'm just gonna lift this up. And if I can, come on, lift this out, put it right side that way so I know. And now I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in each of these rays and then down my center area. But it's kind of like putting together a puzzle. Um, this is also kind of like paper piecing. If you guys ever have done and enjoy paper piecing, it's really just a matter of finding where the pieces fit and putting them in the right spots. And those of you that know me know that not only do I own Stamp Anything, I also own SVG cutting files because before I got into stamping, I was really into paper piecing. And um, we have like over a thousand, no, we have a couple thousand designs on that website. And I've always made all of my pieces to fit together like a puzzle because I've always felt that was really important um, that everyone was able to line up the cheeks and the eyeballs exactly where they were supposed to go. So a very easy doing that. So let's, we're going to take our face piece now and we're just going to put him in the center and you can ink blend these pieces before gluing them down if you'd like as well. I just wanted to keep this, um, clean and simple. Uh, sometimes when you ink blend, it starts to get it a little bit more aged looking. And since I wanted this to be a vibrant sun card, I wanted to keep it nice and clean. And then for the cheeks, you just let me clean off my tip real quick. All right, now we're going to put some glue in the cheeks. Plop these 
right down inside, like so. Grab the other one, plop that in. And then a little glue for the mouth area. So, okay. And then we are going to take our sunglasses and you wanna go ahead um, and also if you haven't done it at this time and I didn't, um, we're gonna go and we're gonna run that sunglass dye through um, the white. But I'll glue this down first. Now you can put and position your glasses however you want. I like my glasses to half cover the cheeks like so. So it's a little um, like, because sometimes people, you could put them up lower, higher. It's just personal preference on what you think looks good. I like them to be half covering the cheeks, just like if they were real glasses. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there, like so. And now I'm gonna go run the glasses dye where I put the, oh, and here's what I was saying before. If when you cut your um, paper, this mat, and you didn't have a piece like this left over because all the pieces were different, but if you have, you have your sun from when we cut it out of the mat, your glasses can fit right on that little piece. Now, where did I put my glasses dye? Here's my face. Sunshine, of course, where did I put the glasses? Okay, messy table, lost the glasses. Okay, I will add my white then at the end, but you guys get the idea. You're just gonna run those glasses through again. Oh, I found them, here we go. Really quick, I'm just gonna, it's got the blue still in it. Run this through the machine really quick to get those little white cuts out for the eyes of the glasses. So let me grab my thing right here. Whoops. back into frame for you. Now I have the glasses, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in each area here. Again, if you have tweezers, it'll be a lot help, more helpful. If you don't like picking up tiny little pieces and getting a little bit of glue on your hands. Okay, so now we have, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy every damn day. So there's that. And now in your kit, you also got three jelly dots. These are our jelly dots. They are um, dimensional on the one top and flat on the bottom. These things are so popular, um, we can never keep them in stock. We just ordered a huge order of them. We have them in several colors. Um, they're kind of translucent. So what I love about them is depending on where you put them on your card, the color changes a little bit too because it'll take on the U from whatever color is underneath it. And I just think that's pretty cool. So to put these on your card is really simple. You're just going to put a dab of glue and lay it on. Hold it on there for a second or two just to make sure you got a nice contact. And this is the only thing on your card that is actually gonna be giving it a raised, nice raised dimension. And the jelly dots, people use them in their shaker cards. I mean, there's lots of fun things you can use them for. And like I said, we have them in several colors. They're quite popular. And there is 
our finished project for today. And again, don't forget, you can always, because now you have the die and the stamp, you can use patterned papers for them. You can use foil, metallic shiny papers um, for the glass. I mean, you can do so much with this cute little card and make a gazillion of them. And I hope you like it. This is our first official card kit that was designed specifically for you guys for this event. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, this is Stamp Anything. We would love to see your project. So if you make it, we would love for you to come and join our Stamp Anything Stampers group um, and post it in there for others to see. Or even um, on Instagram, just tag us so we can see your projects because we really, really enjoy um, seeing them. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful, sunshiny day. And I will see you next time at our next event with the expo. Have a good day. Bye.